What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name of Toys video. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my new favorite WWE figures and customs. <laughs> Alright guys, so in today's video, I am going to be going through eight of my favorite figures and customs in my collection. Some of these customs are fix-ups and some of them are hand-painted. As you can see here, we do have eight of them. Uh, some of these are older. I did these a while back and some of them I just never gave the ultimate credit to that I feel like this video could serve some too. And you know, I could really catch up and give those figures the limelight that they deserve. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Alright guys, so our first custom up right here is the MDT Live John. Cena, as you can see right here. Uh, we have seen this figure before in a former video, but I did switch it out just a bit. You'll notice on the legs here, I switched it out onto an Elite 40 John Cena, um, so he'll have the shorter uh, shorts here. He's got the short black shorts on instead of the longer ones. Uh, these are easier to pose. This one always falls on me. You know, you'll stand him here and he'll lean forward and do face plants and all that good jazz. So I wanted to eliminate that threat at all costs. You know, he's really hard to pose in the pick fed. So I went ahead and switched him over to the shorter shorts right here. And I think it looks good. Got the same chain gang armbands, hat, and uh, necklace right here. He still has the MDT championship. He is the MDT champion going into our third pay-per-view sold out and we don't know who his opponent is going to be next we have two episodes of mdt live before we get to the pay-per-view so we're going to find out who his challenger will be uh you see the champions here t-shirt with the mdt uh championship on the front the biggest thing with this fig uh, figure, guys, is the shoes. I came in and painted over the lime green on the bottom with white, and then I added pink details. That way the pink, white, and black will tie into the rest of the attire. I really like the way it came out. Very happy with it. Did that today, actually. So, uh... Very, very nice John Cena for our first one. Our next one is a figure that I did a while back. It is this custom Dolph Ziggler, and it's more of a fantasy attire. He does look this way in the pick fed, but uh, I just love the way the Ziggler looks. It's sort of like a mixture of his old look and his current look. He's got the longer hair, of course, and I just, I don't, I don't remember specifically uh, showing this figure off in a video. I'm sure I did, but I just couldn't remember, so I wanted to make sure you guys saw it here. We do have the uh, pink tights right here, but I came in and painted over the uh, all the silver lettering with black. That way you have the black show up with the silver outline and some black stripes coming in. Black DZ there, silver outlines on it. I added the smaller knee pads for better articulation and then of course he has the Elite 39 Ziggler boots with the black and white and of course, oh my god! And of course he has his black wrist tape on there to tie it all together and I think it looks so sick with the hoodie on there. And I do believe he will be on the next episode of MDT Live, so that should be pretty interesting to see. So we got Dolph Ziggler as our second favorite figure in my car. I just love the way this looks, guys. Just look at it. It's freaking fantastic next to John Cena. Next up, we do have an older fix-up right here, guys. It is the Viper Randy Orton, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. I love this figure so freaking much. I think I made this fix-up, very old fix-up. I made this fix up on episode 4 of My Damn Halls, and we are on episode 50 coming up very soon. I gotta order some more stuff for the episode, but it is coming up very soon. So that just tells you how old this thing is. I have featured it in a few videos, but I just have to give it another shout out, guys. I mean, good God, look at this. It looks so accurate to Randy Orton right now. I mean, obviously, uh, the head scan is perfect. I mean, he is obviously, his hair is a little bit longer and such right now, and he doesn't really have facial hair. But uh, with this RKO hoodie on there and these black tights with the wrist tape and everything, everything man i mean this is a perfect randy orton figure and i just had to include it in my favorite figures list right here obviously this is not all my favorite figures because that would be a video for another day where i literally have to go for like an hour because i love so many of my figures but uh, that randy orton figure has to be in my favorite figures list right here we have an updated batista and what i did for this one i wanted a current day batista if he ever comes to mdt wrestling in the pick fed he will look like this guys i love this so much because he has the old school tights you see he sa it says batista right here in the pink and blue and black you know you don't know if he's vindication or mdt live he's got the blue from vindication and the pink from mdt live but he has the dragon on the back the uh, batista logos on the elbow pads very nice detail right there open knee pads tattoo on the leg and then the uh, lesnar style boots on there i wanted to make a look if he came back today in wrestling so he has the old school look in the attire 
but I have the uh, right torso and arms and uh, lower legs from the Elite 30 Batista, I do believe it is. That way he has an updated look, but he still has the touches of old school because I liked his old look, you know, with the old school trunks in there. So I had to throw that in there. I did custom paint that head scan to make him look older, you know, like Dave Batista looks like right now. Next up, we do have a pretty simple fix up, guys. Nothing insane right here. It is the entrance grits Jeff Hardy with the Elite 57 head scan or Epic Moments head scan thrown on there. Very nice figure. If you just want a base Jeff Hardy with no face paint in his regular, you know, tank top, long pants. Uh, white sleeves attire. This is pretty much it. Very simple to do. I have a few Jeff Hardys. I think I have like 10 or 11 in my collection. I had to get an extra entrance greats Jeff Hardy. Throw that head scan on there, you know, to make it look, you know, uh, just a normal non-face painted look and I just think it's such a perfect representation of Jeff Hardy and that's mainly why I love certain figures so much is because it literally captures them in real life as a figure I mean my god look how perfect that Jeff Hardy looks so you guys definitely need to do that fix up if you haven't done that next up we have a fully hand painted custom and that is my uh, custom Royal Rumble Seth Rollins of course we did get news from San Diego Comic Con that we will be getting this figure in elite form I believe it's the the Elite 63 Seth Rollins, I do believe. So that does suck that we are getting this figure from Mattel. Now I have to pretty much just trash this custom. I may sell it or something. I don't know. But, you know, I worked my A off on this. I literally, it took me like five or six hours to do this. And uh, I, I was really pr proud of the paint job. I think I did pretty well on it. Got the SR logo on the knee pad there. And with the t-shirt, I just think it really ties it together. Obviously, he didn't have this t-shirt when this uh, attire was worn. But I still think it looks cool. You know, it says came, stomp, burn it down. He's got fire on the shirt, fire on the pants. I mean, it just goes hand in hand. And this is probably one of my most favorite customs I've ever made. So it has to be in my favorite figures in this video. Next up, we have a Strictly from Mattel figure. You know, no fix-ups or nothing. This is just a fantastic figure that will easily be a top figure of 2018. That is the Elite 60 Elias. My God, ladies and gentlemen, this figure is a perfect representation of Elias. If anything, the torso may be a tad ripped. Too ripped, you know, but it is still freaking nice AF, guys. We get a guitar. We get the freaking... Uh, whatever the hell these are called, scarves, going across his neck there. It's a great head scan, great figure. I waited so long for this to drop, and it's only a matter of time before he shows up strumming his guitar in the pick fed. Who knows what brand he'll be on, but uh, he will be showing up sooner rather than later. And I cannot wait to see what he does. He'll make some noise here. But we have Elias. This perfect figure is amazing, guys. If you don't have this, go to Ringside Collectibles right now and purchase it because it's definitely worth the pickup. And the last figure we have for you guys today is this Demon Finn Balor. I love this Finn Balor so freaking much. Uh, next to the Network Spotlight, it is easily my favorite Finn Balor in the Demon. I just love it so very much. You know, this is our most recent entrance greats. And I did add the shoe details. We covered it in the video from the other day of some new customs I did. This was in there. We did touch up the shoes. It makes it look a hundred times better. I mean, my goodness, the white outsoles with the red tips and everything really tie together the attire. And this Finn Balor is looking fantastic. I don't know why, but my right arm and my Finn Balor wants to like come off almost. It's like it's hanging off. I need to replace it or do something because it's really annoying me. So I need to do that before I coup de gras myself. But anyways, uh, that is pretty much, I mean, uh, every figure that I wanted to include in this video. Of course, this is not all of my favorite figures. You know, it's just a handful that I regularly picked out. We got some customs, some fix-ups, and then, of course, our only Mattel Elite in here is Elias. But uh, it is a newer figure, and I had to include it. I think I included Elite 59 Kurt Angle in my last one. So I wanted to include a newer figure that is Elite. Obviously, basics aren't on here because they're absolute trash. But uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you enjoyed the updated uh, John Cena rather than the longer pants. I'd like to know your guys' thoughts on that. What do you think of my, some of my favorite figures in my collection? Let me know what your favorite figure is from this little uh, assortment of eight in this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figures. And thank you.